a unit root is a feature of processes that evolve through time that can cause problems in statistical inference involving time series models. A linear stochastic process is a unit root if one is a root of the process's characteristic equation. Such a process is non-stationary. If the other roots of the characteristic equation lie inside the unit circle a euro that is, have a modulus less than only a euro then the first difference of the process will be stationary. Definition Consider a discrete time stochastic process, and suppose that it can be written as an autoregressive process of order a p. Here, is a serially uncorrelated, mean zero stochastic process with constant variance. For convenience, assume if is a root of the characteristic equation. Then the stochastic process is a unit root or, alternatively, is integrated of order 1, denoted. If m equals 1 is a root of multiplicity r, then the stochastic process is integrated of order r, denoted i, r. Example, the first order autoregressive model, has a unit root when. In this example, the characteristic equation is. The root of the equation is. If the process is a unit root, then it is a non-stationary time series. That is, the moments of the stochastic process depend on. To illustrate the effect of a unit root, we can consider the first order case, starting from y0 equals a0. By repeated substitution, we can write. Then the variance of is given by. The variance depends on t since, while. Note that the variance of the series is diverging to infinity with the T. Related models, in addition to AR and ARMA models, other important models arise in regression analysis where the model errors may themselves have a time series structure and thus may need to be modeled by an AR or ARMA process that may have a unit root, as discussed above. The finite sample properties of regression models with first order ARMA errors, including unit roots, have been analyzed. Estimation when a unit root may be present, often, ordinary least squares is used to estimate the slope coefficients of the autoregressive model. Use of OLS relies on the stochastic process being stationary. When the stochastic process is non-stationary, the use of OLS can produce invalid estimates. Granger and Newbold called such estimates spurious regression results. Higher two values and high t ratios yielding results with no economic meaning. To estimate the slope coefficients, one should first conduct a unit root test, whose null hypothesis is that a unit root is present. If that hypothesis is rejected, one can use OLS. However, if the presence of a unit root is not rejected, then one should apply the difference operator to the series. If another unit root test shows the difference time series to be stationary, OLS can then be applied to the series to estimate the slope coefficients. For example, in the AR, 1, case, is stationary. In the AR, 2, case, can be written as where L is a lag operator that decreases the time index of a variable by one period. If, the model has a unit root and we can define. Then, is stationary if OLS can be used to estimate the slope coefficient. If the process has multiple unit roots, the difference operator can be applied multiple times. Properties and characteristics of unit root processes Shocks to a unit root process have permanent effects which do not decay as they would if the process were stationary, as noted above. A unit root process is a variance that depends on t and diverges to infinity. If it is known that a series has a unit root, the series can be different to render it stationary. For example, if a series is i, 1, the series is i, 0. It is hence called a different stationary series. Unit root hypothesis. Economists debate whether various economic statistics, especially output, have a unit root or are trend stationary. A unit root process with drift is given in the first order case by where C is a constant term referred to as the drift term, and is white noise. Any non-zero value of the noise term, occurring for only one period, will permanently affect the value of as shown in the graph, so deviations from the line are non-stationary. There is no reversion to any trend line. In contrast, a trend stationary process is given by 
where K is the slope of the trend and is noise. Here any transient noise will not alter the long run tendency for to be on the trend line, as also shown in the graph. This process is said to be trend stationary because deviations from the trend line are stationary. The issue is particularly popular in the literature on business cycles. Research on the subject began with Nelson and Plosser whose paper on GNP and other output aggregates failed to reject the unit root hypothesis for these series. Since then, a debate a euro entwined with technical disputes on statistical methods a euro has ensued. Some economists argue that GDP has a unit root or structural break, implying that economic downturns result in permanently lowered GDP levels in the long run. Other economists argue that GDP is trend stationary, that is, when GDP dips below trend during a downturn it later returns to the level implied by the trend so that there is no permanent decrease in output. While the literature on the unit root hypothesis may consist of arcane debate on statistical methods, the hypothesis carries significant practical implications for economic forecasts and policies. See also, Dickier Euro Fuller Test, Augmented Dickier Euro Fuller Test, Unit Root Test, Phillips A Euro Perron Test, Co integration, determining the relationship between two variables having unit roots, Weighted Symmetric Unit Root Test. Kwiatkowski, Phillips, Schmidt, Shin test, known as KPSS tests, notes.